All right, what's going on, guys? You boys, Swiss. Come back in, Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker. I'm gonna use this Baba fucking bud thing to shoot up here and grab this treasure chest. It's got a red rupee in it. And then we're gonna use it to get up on top of this side of this tree trunk. I mean, tree stump. And then we'll use that to get on top of the tree tree stump. And then you can see there's this uh, other like air powered fucking whatever it is car type thing transportation shit so use that to come over here and they have this nut thing laying here we'll grab that set it down on here and head back over here to the this little flower vine thing it's covering the door we'll use this nut thing to break it to, uh, to kill it so we can get through the door because that's the only way you can get through there. Now that shit always gets me. Uh, For right here, they have these tentacles blocking this nut thing. So what you have to do is get on this side. Or whatever side, but anyway, just use the Deku Leaf to blow it out of there. And then use it to destroy this vine plant thing. Just like we did a minute ago, a second ago. And right here, I was uh, I was jumping down to see what's down here, but you don't really need to jump down here. And eh, not yet, anyway. Alright, so now we're back up here. Just swing across this gap with your grappling hook. And then jump across these tentacle things over here to this door. We got a locked door though, so we won't be able to go in there yet, so just grab this nut thing. You can grab these rupees if you want, or if you're full, don't worry about them. They'll always be there until you pick them up. Now we can use this nut to bust open this plant. But first, we're not going to leave this room just yet. We're going to use these tentacles to go up there. Or tongues, as the Zelda people call them. Yep. They're like supposed yep. to be called tongues or something, but I call them tentacles. Um, so we blow, we can blow this uh, le these leaves out of the way to unveil the second pot cauldron for the uh, area. Then we'll head back down here and go through the door we un unlocked with the the plan over it. You can drop down here in this room and grab some rupees out of this chest. You have to do a spin attack to knock these little spike ball things off of you. But it's worth 10 rupees if, if you're low. If you don't have max yet.
Alright, now we got this room. It's like a puzzle. There's a bunch of these tentacles, and you'll have to walk around until there's none. You know what I mean? Walk around until you see a gap in them, and then you can move forward. One thing that sucks about this is that we went the wrong way. Yep. So we're gonna have to go back around. We made it there to the end without getting hit, but we, we just got hit twice on the way back already. Oh shit. So when you come through this door, you want to go to the left first. Head to the left and grab this bomb over here. This is a bomb flower. Use that to blow open these two um, blocked off areas. One's blocked off with the wood. Just blow that shit up and you're good to go. We got the compass out of that chest. So not bad. Making some progress. Now we gotta go back over there where we blew open that door. So now we get a key. So we can use this key to open the door we passed earlier that was locked. First you want to use this plant to come up here and bust open a couple of these vases and I don't know I think I'm going to start calling them just pots yeah. They look like a vase but like a pot too I guess you'd probably want to call him pot for a Zelda game I don't know but this highest platform the pot has a joy pendant inside and then you can just float down to the door with the deck you leave so you don't have to go through that maze again <laughs> and then we'll just backtrack to this locked door and go through and see what's going on. Got a couple P hats, just knock them down with your Deku uh, leaf. And here's when I finally realized you can just blow wind against a wall and it'll propel you forward. It's a lot fucking easier than trying to hit those little spinner wheel things. You can't do it to get the platform to, to you, but you can do it once you're on the platform. And then we got this mini, um bug thing, whatever the hell it is. A wingless moth, I think it's called. I'm not too sure on that, but whatever. Wow. Just 
can take out the piats if you want to. It doesn't matter though. Just keep making your way upstairs. That's just a habit of saying upstairs, man. I don't know why this is not stairs. It's fucking trees. Whatever. Make your way up here. And go through the door. And we got a mini boss fight. It's Mothula. Don't worry about it, it's really easy. Just target them and attack them with your sword, that's all you gotta do. And don't let him hit you. There's plenty of grass to cut to get some hearts and shit though. Too, so. Don't worry about dying on this. This is not hard. So we just open up this fancy looking treasure chest and we get the boomerang. And we're gonna use that to get out of this room, so just watch what I do. use it to hit both these switches at the same time and you can get out of here now you may think this is gonna replace the grappling hook but it's not you want to keep the grappling hook on your uh, hot buttons for now anyway well, for most of the game, actually, we're gonna be using the grapple hook a lot, so. Yeah. Let's go ahead and keep that on there. We need to use this boomerang to take out two of these plants at the same time. And then we'll clear out the room of all these hanging, whatever they are, spike ball looking things. Because I guess you just want to do that. They'll fucking hit you and make you fall if you try to fly across. Before you take them out, we'll use the deco leaf to fly across here. That's what we're going to do. Open up another treasure chest, see what's inside. Probably just some rupees. Oh, it's a joy pendant. So, that's even better. But, that's pretty much it. That's all I got for this episode, guys. So. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment, rate, subscribe. This is your boy Swiss, and I'm out. Peace. Yep.